How Mendeleev Developed the Periodic Table by kscience.com There are 92 naturally occurring elements which start from hydrogen and go all the way up to uranium. We haven't always known about the existence of every element because in 1869 only about 50 of the elements had been discovered. So how did Mendeleev make the first periodic table if all the elements were not yet discovered? This is Mendeleev's periodic table and Mendeleev arranged the elements in order of increasing atomic weights, also known as masses. We can see how in group 1, lithium, sodium and potassium are in the same group and in group 2, beryllium, magnesium and calcium are also in the same group. Mendeleev correctly placed elements with similar chemical properties in the same group. And we can see here Mendeleev made a very important addition to the periodic table. There was a group 8. However, we can see there are no noble gases as they were not yet discovered back in 1869. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Now what Mendeleev did that was so ahead of his time and absolutely incredible was that he left gaps for undiscovered elements. So here is a gap, here is a gap, here is a gap and here is another gap for elements that he predicted had not yet been discovered. So these question marks represent the elements that Mendeleev predicted would be discovered. So Mendeleev left gaps for undiscovered elements. Not only did Mendeleev leave gaps, but Mendeleev correctly predicted the properties of the undiscovered elements. So when scientists later discovered the elements fitted the gaps, other scientists then accepted the table. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So here's a copy of the modern periodic table which contains the 118 elements that we know of. Every element has its own unique symbol and the big number is the relative atomic mass and the small number is the atomic number. The modern periodic table is arranged in order of increasing atomic number and there are groups which are the vertical columns from group 1 to group 0 and then there are periods which are horizontal rows. So we can see how antimony has a mass number of 122, tellurium has a mass number of 128, and then it goes down where iodine has a mass number of 127. The reason why tellurium and iodine are in these positions is because Mendeleev made sure to swap iodine with tellurium so iodine could be in group 7 as it has similar chemical properties as the other group 7 elements. And tellurium is in group 6 because it has similar chemical properties as the other elements in group 6. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.